welcome to Marble CD 111207. Veterans Day, happy Veterans Day. Thank a veteran. Do something nice for a veteran. Go plant a flag or flowers on their grave or something. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a Dragon's Eye marble um, with a silver fume optic nerve. I saw this marble on glassartists.org, I believe. I, I don't know who the original artist was. It's not an original idea by myself. Uh, but basically, I pulled a little bit of, off the tip of an 8 mil rod here. This is going to be our optic nerve. We're going to put silver fume on this and then just run lines of clear down it as we build up the center of our marble. Once we get that all done, we'll shape the marble and then using dots, big dots of blues and blacks, we'll create the, uh, the eye. So we're gonna fume this. I, I wanted you to see it's a very small, almost no oxygen flame. We're basically gonna warm the glass and then Hold the silver on the end of this right up underneath the so it fumes off onto the glass. Just kind of waving it like that. Don't fume very much. I've been over fuming. That's why it's been really white. So just kind of a light layer and then get it out of the flame and let it cool and then trap it with the, uh, the clear over the top. I hope that makes a lot of sense. show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, here's what it looks like. Uh, I've fumed it and then I've drawn four lines down it. I'm going to kind of work this in. Uh, by working this in at this point, uh, the little gaps between the lines, the silver fume in between there will burn. Um, hopefully that will create some varying colors or, or a whitish vein along the side of the optic nerve. And then we'll just keep drawing lines down this, filling in the gaps until we've created our uh, marble, basically the, the body of the marble. And we'll terminate the ends and work on the eye part. Here with the second layer on, worked it almost all the way in. I don't, hopefully you can see that the, the veins start to develop. The fuming on the inside there, that's going to be like the optic nerves coming off the eye. The left hand side here will be where the iris pupil of the eye is and it will trail off. Now you're going to be tempted to try and run your, you know, fill in your void by changing direction, but try and keep adding glass all in the same direction from left to right there, just to keep the veins theme going throughout. And when we get thicker, we'll just be adding lines, we'll shorten the lines to make it more of a marble shape. Alright, this is, uh, I just added the third layer, which I used the the 8 mil rod, now that it's bigger and it can handle some weight, I started adding thicker lines of glass. We'll work this in. And then we'll probably lay on some half lines, thickening, thickening up the center, and then terminate the point there. Shape it, and then pull it off the rod and add our, our pupil, the iris. The fourth set of lines is a set of half lines, or two-thirds lines, of 8 mil rod. And I got the big flame going now. Better poop back the camera away so I don't burn it. <laughs> uh, you can see this will add bulk around the, the middle of the marble. And uh, we'll work this all in, shape it around, and uh, terminate it off the rod and do the, pulp, the pupil, the iris. Alright, we've uh, shaped the back side. You can see the uh, 
the veins in there fairly well. Terminated it off of the rod there. We're going to round out this side and then start layering dots for the iris or the pupil, whatever, whatever part that is. All right, we started layering our dots for the iris, the pupil. Started with the black, and then uh, I took uh, black ivory and ran uh, colors of blue down the side. Twisted that up and using that, and some dark blue, some light blue, and some regular black ivory. And we're just going to layer, 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 layer these dots to create thin lines. Then we're going to rake towards the middle to kind of create the uh, the effect of the eye. Once we've done that, we're going to layer a final black dot in the middle and rake that out to either side to create the cat's eye, dragon's eye effect. Basically, we're just layering dots right now. One big dot. I've layered layers and layers and layers of dots, creating a whole bunch of rings. Now I'm going to rake to create, um, you know, kind of a back and forth effect on the rings to make it look more like an eye. This is my first attempt at this particular technique, so I hope it works out. Uh, I'm going to use something really sharp, my buck knife. Hopefully this will work. Not exactly the uh, effect I was looking for. I don't even know if you can see it. It doesn't really look like an eye. <laughs> It might be an alien eye. I don't know. We'll take a look at it when it's done. I braked it and then I put a dot of black in the center for the, you know, the center of the eye. And uh, we will see. We will see. Okay, I put a dot of black in the center, raked it uh, to either side. Just one rake in either direction. And then uh, put a dot of black ivory, then a dot of black, and then a dot of clear on top of that. This is going to be more of a an alien eye, I, I got a feeling. But uh, it looks interesting. But then again, this is not a step-by-step -step directions, but more of like a recipe. You know, just take these steps and, and make them your own, and make your own little alien eyeballs. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shape this up, stick it in the kiln, and we'll take a look at it when it gets out. And here's what it looks like fresh out of the kiln. I like uh, the optic nerve there, kind of, I don't know, it kind of makes me want to redo my jellyfish design. I, I think I see a jellyfish in my future. And that's what it looks like from the bottom up. Nice blues, you can see some blues in there. And then uh, the eyeball part is kind of not really an eyeball, but a cute little flower design. So it's an alien flower eye ball marble thing. Oh well, live and learn. See you next time. Bye bye.